Hello everyone, nice to see you. My name is Isme, and today we are doing an MCDU setup tutorial in the A32NX mod. Uh, today's flight will be from Manchester to Gatwick uh, in England, and I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. I am using the A32NX mod today, uh, and of course this is the A320neo aircraft. As always, I am not a real-life pilot, so please do not use this as an instruction for a real-life piloting of an aircraft. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, and if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. And hey, YouTube tells me that only 18% of you have subscribed, so make sure you go down and hit that icon. Just so that, you know, it helps out. It's free, and you know, if you change your mind, you can go ahead and unsubscribe. But, let's continue on. So, for the MCDU, some of you... Uh, might not know what the MCD is, but we'll get into that, what that is. Uh, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to power up the aircraft. Now, I'm not going to do any sort of checklist for this, um, because uh, I did do the startup tutorial yesterday. If you can, if you want, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, it's, it's, uh, it was uh, it was an okay tutorial. Uh, not, I mean, I, again, I'm not a real-life pilot, so, you know, um, not the best at these things. So, um, I'm just going to start up the aircraft. Oh, I yeah, forgot that. Um, here we go. Now you can hear the sound. I'm just going to turn on some lights. Uh, I'm not playing with live time um, or live weather. Uh, just so that you guys can see, because usually I, when I fly, it's a little bit dark because I fly in the afternoon, uh, and here we ha in the no uh, we're in winter, so it's usually always dark at this time of year. Uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, okay, uh, I'm just gonna uh, change the weather from now uh, on, uh, un unless we're flying on Batsim, in which case, of course, yes, we'll have to play uh, with um, live weather. I didn't have to start up the engines, but I just, I'm just going to do it to save some time. Uh, but now that, you know, our ADRS is aligned, um, we're going to get into the actual MCDU. Now, this panel here, the little uh, window, that is the MCDU. Um, you have the flight management guidance computer, the ATC of the AIDS and the FC, uh, FDS. Now, the MCDU references this screen. It does not mean the different systems. You can access the different systems uh, from the MCDU. So, you know, first, I, you typically go into this, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to check my options. Now, today, uh, I'll show you how to load your flight plan from SimBrief and how to input one manually. So, let's go into um, our init page. Let's say we, uh, you know, we're going from EGCC to EGKK. There we go. That's our from and to. And we don't have any company routes, so we're just going to return. Uh, cruising level, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check in some brief what I put in. Flight level 190. Okay, so we'll put in 190 and input it right here. It'll automatically uh, find the temperature change. Now, cost index. Gonna go ahead and see if we have a cost index. Um, if we don't, it's fine. I think I'll just put in a rent. Okay, it looks like we have 40 as our cost index. I'm not sure um, how exactly that's calculated because in the brief, uh, that's the A320, uh, not the A320 Neo. So there is a little bit of a change there. But after the init, you know, you typically go to init B and you put in your zero fuel weight and zero fuel weight center of gravity. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to wait. So after this, you have the perf page. Uh, this is the performance. So, you know, you put in your flaps. So on takeoff, I'm going to have uh, the flaps too. Now, the cool thing about the Airbus, like I said yesterday, was if you click V1, it automatically calculates V1 speed, the V rotation speed, and the V2 engine out um, speed. 
Now, you know, we have the direct, so we haven't put anything in our flight plan, so you won't see anything in direct. You know, accuracy high. I don't, with the mod, I don't think any of that changes, so you don't have to worry. In real life, you know, it'd probably tell you. Uh, it'd probably change sometime. Uh, but you know, we don't have anything in the flight plan, definitely not in radio navigation. Field prediction, we don't need to worry about. Secondary flight plan doesn't exist. Um, so, let's go into our flight plan. Now, if I were to pull up SimBrief here, and from, uh, from Manchester, we are taking off runway. Let me get this out for a second. There we go. Okay, so we'll take you have to select the departure runway first. Uh, we're taking off 05 left, and we are taking the list to um, list to Zulu departure. But in here it says list to Sierra. Um, that's fine. I believe you know I don't have the uh, correct air. I don't have any air data since I don't have Navigraph, so I don't think that'll update anytime soon. Um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in. Now you'll see that you can get a bunch of waypoints in here. Well, if you were to look at the departure chart, you would see at the end of that uh, departure, you'd end up with Listo. That's the last waypoint of the departure. Now after Listo, we are taking Airway, Lima 612, to Han Hotel Oscar November. That's a VOR. There we go. So typically waypoints don't have numbers, uh, but you see the departure. Well, that had a number. Well, the number was uh, before, uh, so it was the second to last character. Uh, I'm not. I of course. Okay, I don't. I'm not a real life pilot. I'm not sure if that's everywhere in the world, but that's what I've noticed. A trend. The second to last. No uh, character is usually a number. That signifies, you know, that's your SID or STAR. Uh, now we're taking the Lima 612 airway, and I know it's an airway because uh, waypoints and VORs, they don't have numbers. So after Han, we're taking the November 859 airway to Kidley. So, Hilo, India, Delta, Lima, India, Kidley. And after Kidley, well, we're just going to insert that. And let's go back down to Kidley. And you'll see that our arrival, and of course, again, you can always uh, import from SimBrief, but I'm just doing this, I'm going to do it manually, so you know how to do it manually. Our arrival, because it automatically assigns us arrival, and let's see what runway we're arriving at. We are arriving at runway 08, right? So we'll take the ILS on that one. And we have the arrival. Let's see. Oh, so you see Kidley, right? Kid, uh, kid one, uh, Kiddle 1G. That typically end at Kidley, I'm pretty sure. Um, so usually you have some sort of, uh, looks like almost like the waypoint. I just want to find that arrival. Okay, it doesn't seem to have that arrival. That's interesting. Um, maybe if I do no star. That's interesting. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be in there. Uh, again, I don't have the latest ARAC data. Um. Right, so let's see if I can do maybe an RNAV. Let's see if that approaches in there. Nope, not in there. So let's try, nope. Approach files. Uh, there we go. That's the one, Willow. So, you know, you're, you're via Willow, and if you see our departure, hopefully it's there. Um, Interesting, so it's not there. Um, Alright, so I guess I'll have to pick a different departure. Yeah, sometimes you won't have that. Unless you pay for uh, ARAC data, you won't be able to get that. Uh, if you do have if you do have Navigraph, uh, I don't. 
um, then you'll be able to unlock the ARAC data from SimBrief itself. Uh, in SimBrief as well. Uh, so I'm gonna go into the plan mode. I'm just gonna see if I put in... If I, put up, if I pull up my charts. If I find, let's say... Um, EGKK, because that's men uh, that's uh, Gatwick, that's the one we're coming in. If I do 0, 8, um, right, uh, it will give me okay. I'm just put it in via Willow. There we go. So we don't really need a star uh, there. Well, yeah. um, it's just a via. We go down through our plan, and you can, this is a way you can check it via SimBrief. You'll see it comes around. will come around like this. You know, you typically be descending uh, around. I'd say around 3,000 around here. If I pull up constraints, let's see. There you go. Yeah, 3,000 feet. That's where you have to be at for. Um, this arrival, and then you just have the wide arc to intercept the ILS. Um, oh, sorry, other way around. Yeah, other way around. Sorry. Um, coming down here, you make a turn, you turn right at uh, this point here, and then you're just almost straight in for runway zero eight. Let's see if I can step through that. There we go. Right. There we go. So D, that's your deceleration point. Um, Hi, Kieran. Uh, nice to see you. Um, so, I have school, or has it not started? No, I had school, uh, but school, t like, there's only three periods today, and no one holds it after lunchtime. Uh, so, typically, technically, school ended at, um, you know, 12 o'clock, uh, yeah. Sorry, uh, not 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And then I went driving. Because I got, I can, I started driving now. Uh, clear that ECAM message. All right. So I'll just put, uh, go through this checklist right here. Cabin check. Oh, I'm gonna put up, uh, signs are up. There we go. Test takeoff config. And we'll just go back to ARC. So that was just, uh, how you set up. Yeah, see ya. Hopefully. Um, we'll just go back to here. to the wait, uh, our uh, flight plan. So that's how you input a flight plan um, from uh, manually. Now if I want to input it from let's say SimBrief, well there's a couple things you need to do. You're going to go to options, you're going to go to the AOC, and you're going to go down to SimBrief. Now you're going to type in your username. Now this doesn't allow people access to your account, it allows access to your last flight plan. So I have to generate an OFP. And if you were to open up the aircraft and type in my username, you would be able to access the last flat flight plan I generated. So technically, you guys could all fly along with me. Um, so, you know, I'm, I don't care. Uh, most people don't care about this username um, because that's, you know, not how you sign in and stuff. Um, but if I go, once you inputted that, uh, we're going to go down to the Atsu. After that, we're going to go to the AOC menu. So different than the AOC from options, but this is the actual menu. First thing you're going to do is you're going to hit init press. You're going to get init data request, and all the data from SimBrief will come in. Okay, and now you're going to exit out and go to the perf weight and balance. You're going to get another request, and then you're going to load it. So what this request does is it updates the data that's already in the sim. So maybe you know you're doing two flight plans in a row. Well, you're going to need to update the data from the server. And then, you know, you could send one again. And then you load it once more. Now, when you go back to the flight plan, everything will be... Oh, sorry, not flight plan. If I go back to init, uh, you'd have to init from here. There will be an init request. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't... Uh, I, I, don't, I can't do that anymore. Uh, but let's check our V-speed. So, you see how they changed? Uh, typically, you know, uh, more payload or more fuel, you're going to get a higher speed. Uh, perf, you don't really need to worry about, but, you know, init, it's fine. Data, 
no one really no one really uses it. But we'll go back to the flight plan. Now, when you input a flight plan, you will have to also put in your star or sit. It won't come in with your flight plan, you know, because you know ATC will typically give this to you. So in that case, you're going to have to click here and set your um, you know your your star, your transition, stuff like that. And also you're gonna have to do the same for your destination. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to check your charts and you're going to make sure ILS for, let's I, again, we are doing 08 right. You're going to check that that ILS is correct. So, you know, you get your charts. Oh, sorry. Uh, there we go, found it. We can check that it should be trying to find it, trying to find it. Okay, it should be one one zero point nine zero. There we go. And typically, you get um, let's say if I if, let's see if I that back in one one zero nine zero. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Uh, hold on. Let's see. We'll just put in zero 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 like as it was before. I believe that was what it was. Now can I not put that in? I guess I can't put that in. Okay. Um, so we'll just go close that, and we'll just taxi. Oh well, first of all, we're gonna push back, of course. Uh, engines have started up. Um, we don't really need to go through the checklist. Of course, this is just for the MCDU setup. Uh, so not not a takeoff, nothing like that kind of tutorial. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, but we'll just pull out the pushback helper. Go to the outside view. Uh, it seems my controller turned off. Again, I do not have a yoke, uh, so my landing will be pretty bad. I'm flying with Xbox controller here. I'm gonna go ahead and activate it. Uh, this is the pushback helper mod from flightsim.to. That's called pushback helper. Uh, it's an EXE by itself, so you don't have to worry. Uh, it's just transparent and just pulls up right on your screen. Uh, it also does with the jetway, and it also does fuel. So you can see the jetway comes in, uh, but nothing really happens with the jetway. Now as soon as that uh, gets attached, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the parking brake. There we go, parking brake disengaged. I'll go ahead and back to the outside view. Uh, now, the Vatsim flight from uh, a couple days ago, uh, this was flickering. I found out the reason it was flickering, there was a bug, and everyone knew it about 12 hours before me. I didn't know, uh, but that's okay. Uh, so, we need to face this direction. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the tail to uh, the left once we push back least far enough. Uh, at this time I'd like to remind you to go ahead and go down in quality and make sure you're on the highest quality setting. People have still been sending complaints that, you know, the quality is high. Well go ahead and turn it up to max because you can't really do anything if you're putting it at 480 pixels. Uh, so go ahead and do that. You'll see an improved quality. Um, yeah. This is the runway we'll be taking off, 05 right, as we said before. I'm just gonna keep turning. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the pushback. Got the parking brake. 
And we'll go ahead and set the nose light to taxi. We'll go ahead and turn this on, even though we don't really need it. Turn one of my turn off lights. No, we don't need those as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put these out, but not turn them on. And we'll turn off the APU as well. Uh, the reason uh, yesterday's flight, um, the APU was still able to turn on stuff, was I reali uh, I, I got to know from A32NX people. The APU actually still provides power. Uh, even uh, if you like, you know, if this is this is on, you know, Airbus has a cold, uh, uh, dark cockpit philosophy. Uh, but even if the batteries are off, even if the engines are off, even if the external power is off, even if the fuel pumps are off, the APU is still spooling enough to give off energy, and it'll take a couple seconds or minutes for it to uh, stop giving electricity. So if you do want to turn that off immediately, you have to turn off the APU generator. I'm gonna go ahead and. Alright, so flaps are, uh, flaps are already set, go ahead and turn this on, turn TCAS, even though, again, we're not in any sort of traffic. Uh, disengage the parking brake, ease the throttle forward. Oh, and we'll go ahead and follow this one, right here. If you guys do want to join the Discord, go ahead and go to the channel about page. Uh, we have fun things in the Discord, as well as getting help from uh, us. If you have any sort of technical difficulty, or if you uh, want to know how exactly to fly the Airbus. Um, and so, go ahead and move this a little. Uh, in other news, we recently hit 75 subscribers. Um, so, we're pretty close to our 100 uh, subscriber goal. Go ahead and s check my sensitivity to make sure I have my dead zones. I do have my dead zones. They're 1% less. That's annoying. There we go. Okay, and we'll just follow this taxiway right here. Runway will be coming up shortly. Uh, we're gonna go parallel to the runway once again and taxi down to the end. Okay, runway is right ahead of us. We're just gonna turn right here. Oh, did I miss it? Ah, it seems, uh, it seems I'm on the wrong one. That's okay. Perfectly fine. Typically, I aim to stay around 20 knots while taxiing. That's a good speed. Um, they always say walking speed taxi, you know, when you're in general aviation okay. aircraft. Uh, that's okay, uh, but, you know, this airliner, you know, in, in places like Chicago or heavy traffic, they're like, keep moving. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the flight directors. Auto, th uh, auto throttle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the constraints. That's the good configuration you have. Slightly fast. And we'll go ahead and take this entrance onto the runway, just because we don't need the full length. I'll go ahead and close the view farm map. Sets the nose light to take off. We'll turn the landing lights on as well. Strobe lights set to on. There we go. 
I'm just gonna line up on the runway, center line. At this point, you don't really need to follow the white, uh, yellow lines. Um, just try to stay on the center line. Engage the parking brake, and we'll check flaps are the sets, speed brakes are armed, uh, uh, max auto brake, constraint, flight director, auto throttle. Uh, today, again, we'll be doing uh, flex temp uh, and uh, maximum continuous thrust takeoff. Okay, I'm gonna check, I'm call the cabin. Go ahead and see. Now, some of you, let's turn off the constraints right here. There's been a little bit of an issue with a Sobo. You'll see there's a waypoint called USR. Now, that's there when the uh, when the software isn't able to figure out what the next waypoint is or how to move you around. So, go ahead and ignore that. Um, just go ahead and fly this heading. And then typically, you know, you turn around and then go straight to the uh, next waypoint, which is this one right here. So go ahead and disengage the parking brake. And we'll ease the throttle forward as much as you possibly can. In my case, I can't really do that while pressing the A button. I'm gonna go ahead and set that takeoff thrust. Takeoff thrust set. So slight nose down, or have at least half. 100 knots. manually. At this point, I could turn on the autopilot since everything's in manage. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to follow the flight director, which is these crosses right here. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and watch yesterday's video. I talked a little bit more about what the flight directors are. Uh, but we'll wait for the thrust uh, climb lever uh, to come up here. And I'll put the levers into climb. There we go. Lever climb. Again, I'll, I talked more about that in yesterday's video, um, about detents and all sorts. Slightly high on, on pitch, but we're doing okay. We'll do flaps one now, and then we'll go ahead and retract the last set of flaps. Go ahead and disarm the spoilers, check the flaps are fully up, there we go, gear is up. Now, we just have to follow the flight director or follow the flight plan. Now at this point, if you want to go ahead and engage the autopilot, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do managed speed mode, managed heading mode, but go ahead and uh, put selected altitude. Uh, managed altitude doesn't really work that well. So you see, right here, I want to be at, you know, we want to climb to 5,000. So 5,000, you know, listo, um, ignore that, I don't know what that really is, but flight level 190 at So if you want, you know, if there's no ATC, you can go ahead and go up to your cruising altitude, uh, just the camera, you go ahead and put up flight level 190. I'm going to go ahead and pull that. So that's selected, and you can see, the aircraft is climbing, and we are out of Manchester. There's the airport right there. And now the aircraft is just going to follow this flight plan to the best of its ability. Um, so in this uh, in this case, you're going to go. With, actually, I'm going to turn on some lights here. My integrity lights. I don't like the dull green that's in here. It looks a little bad. You go ahead and put in the perf page performance. Uh, we're in climb right now. Uh, but you know, typically when you get to the decel point, you want to engage the approach phase. Uh, but I'm going to put in from ILS 08 right the, let's see, uh, decision height looks to be, 
one, I'm gonna put in 174. I'm not sure how to exactly, yeah, I'm gonna put in 174 as a decision height. I talk again more about that in yesterday's video. Uh, we're gonna have to get this data from the ATIS. Uh, so let's see, can we tune into the ATIS? Because as far as I know, it's not that far away. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, the aircraft does, again, follow the flight plan. So you don't have to worry too much. Just keep an eye. Um, and the, when you're in autopilot, you're going to want to have a dead zone set. And the reason is, I can still move around, I can still move around uh, the stick slightly, but you can see it has a huge effect on the autopilot. But the autopilot does not disconnect until you get a, a greater amount of force on it. So you do need to set your dead zones, because um, if you don't, um, then you know, it won't disconnect, but it will affect. Huh, okay. Well, I guess we're too far. So, expected time of arrival is... Let's just go ahead and actually turn on live time. Expected time of arrival is um, UTC... 23 Oh, so, uh, that's different from here. Let's check what's actually correct uh, It's 1046 uh, Zulu Which means 246. None of these, uh, that's correct now. So, around uh, 40 minutes. So we'll be there in 40 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the time back to before at least. Q&H, so, um, Q&H, Q&H, okay, 
runway in use is 08 right okay so it doesn't really matter uh, but wind is 020 at 10 knots so we'll put that in as the wind uh, all right so we do need to go back and again we'll have to scroll down for this uh, there is more to the A just than it shows right there you have to scroll down Temperature for Q and H one zero one nine. There we go, one zero one nine, and temperature is four. There we go. So it automatically uh, uh, calculates the flap retract speed, uh, the slat retract speed, and the uh, clean speed, as well as the approach, so approach into the runway, and the landing speed. If I were to zoom out, you can see we're a little bit, maybe 100 miles away from the diesel point. Um, okay, uh, I don't know why it's flashing. Let's see, does it does it mean I have to pull it? that by 3. So 19 by 3 is 57. You add 10 to that, you get 67. So you'd want to send 67 miles away, start to send at least 57 miles away from the runway. Uh, so, you know, I'd say, I'd give a buffer of maybe 75. In this case, uh, you descend in 56 miles. So, at 75, I'd start my descent, you know, you'd make a little note of that or something, but that's fine. What I am going to do is I'm going to check the mist approach procedure for this runway. So, mist approach for ILS, the ME, 08 right. Climb to 3000 straight ahead until, uh, until passing 2000, or DME imbalance. Whichever is later, turn right heading 178, then as directed by ATC. Okay, so it's just gonna be straight out towards the uh, VOR. Uh, so, actually, not the VOR, the DME, which we've already tuned in. That's actually gonna be for the ILS as well. Uh, it's about one, you're gonna go straight one more while, mile, so it'll be a mile behind you. And you're gonna turn right heading 168. And uh, 178, and you're gonna be climbing to 3000. At that point, you can go and it's worked by ATC, but we don't have ATC. You know, you'd have some casual music playing there. Um, so we can turn strobe to auto. Nav will already uh, nav will be on. The logo will be off though, since you know we don't have flat uh, slats out. Wing keeps there. The seatbelt signs are off. Some integrity lights. You know, most most of the stuff you can really use. You, know, you can turn off this, but you know you're just playing around with stuff. Captain Collins 73, hello, nice to see you. Uh, typically, I, I don't think I've seen you before, but hello, nice to see you. Uh, my name is Fismay. Uh, oh, oh, something went. Ah, uh, I closed. Okay, you guys can't see the stats. Okay, uh, that was a short sight. Let me pull that back up. Uh, I'm just doing a little tutorial on how to use the MCDU with the A32NX mod. If you do want to see um, 
a startup tutorial and a short of you know flight and landing tutorial you can go ahead and check out yesterday's um, flight stream is most amazing uh, thank you uh, but t right now we, we're not doing ATC or VATSIM uh, I don't have live uh, live on uh, just because I want it to be a little bit light uh, um, while I'm flying around there we go correct uh, thing is up there uh, don't mind the ETA that's not correct uh, so correct would be we'll be there in 20 minutes now we're just cruising along uh, we have a discord oh captain oh I see oh no, hi you're from the server okay I'm just checking discord I can see you right there I typically leave Discord closed. Normally my streams are at 4 o'clock. Today I'm a little bit earlier. Uh, you turn off this side. You get a couple frames extra when you turn off the uh, co-pilot side. Saw this advertisement in videos. Look very nice. Uh, thank you, but uh, other people, they have a lot more better looking um, uh, thumbnails because I don't have Photoshop or any Premiere Pro. And that's why I can only do live streams for the time being. Oh, and I don't have a yoke, so uh, my landing is really suck. Playing with an Xbox controller. Ah, thank you. Um, most of my thumbnails are actually darker because, you know, it's winter right now. Uh, so it gets dark pretty fast right around the time I stream. So that's why today I decided, you know, let's go with not live time. Yeah, so we're about 20, 23 miles away from the sense. If you come down in one piece, we've landed. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of ways you can come down in one piece in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You don't really die, do you? Ryanair style. Mm. You know, Ryanair is not that bad. I mean, okay, fine. Uh, most of the videos you see are bad. Uh, but if you go ahead and look at um, LaGuardia 737 uh, Southwest, you should go ahead and check that uh, check that uh, documentary out. Uh, that captain was crazy. Oh, thank you for the sub. Um, yeah, I, I was actually hoping for. I've never actually got subbed uh, on stream, or at least I don't think I have. Uh, you know, usually you'd get something that pops up like this. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, not sure. There. Yeah. There we go. It's on stream. Uh, that usually pops up, but if you have privacy settings set to private, uh, it won't pop up because uh, YouTube was like, nope, we're not sharing it to you. Oh, so 10 miles away from the sun. I've never actually seen that animation before. I think there's something, yeah, normally most people don't see it unless, you know, privacy settings are set. Uh, now I'm just waiting at this point. Could go through a checklist, but I don't go through checklists. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's try this. Um, nah, no, no, no checklist. Constantly checking how far we are. 
My livery is all broke, so I have to fly with this one. It's kind of sad. But the clouds look great. But if I zoom in on them, uh, right there, if you see, it looks a little sketchy. It's a little interesting. Clouds. It's almost like pixelated. And I do, I'm pretty sure I have good graphics. Mm. Okay, well, terrain level of detail. Let's turn that up. I'll play around with that a little bit later. That's nice. So, uh, in fact, if you go ahead and join the Discord, um, I do shared cockpit flights on VATSIM and off VATSIM with my friends. And if you go ahead and go in Discord, uh, if you do have the simulator, uh, you can go ahead and send me uh, a, a message in request channel, and we can hopefully set something up uh, on stream. Uh, so, uh, shared cockpit flight, if that interests you. That's open to everybody. link for the Discord is in the channel about page, or if you go ahead and type in the chat, uh, that, um, in the stream, uh, exclamation point disc, and you'll get the Discord link. Ah, not Discord. sent it again. Ah, uh, that's not good. I'm gonna get spammed with eight of these. I'm gonna go ahead and set the Q&H. In fact, yeah, that's a... We're, 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 in, we're in England, or Britain, or whatever you want to call it. We're in Europe. There we go. We're in Europe. Company message. We got a new one. Gatwick. Yep. Yep, yep, Windsor 2010. Yep. Uh, temperature 4. Okay, so it hasn't changed. Uh, information, Juliet. What was the previous one? Uh, information, Hotel. Okay, so it is updated and it is the same. Uh, right, so I don't have to change anything in the birth page. Uh, now, if I were to go ahead. Oh. Oh, 
crash died. Um, yep, so we're still descending. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the approach page. As soon as we hit that decel point, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the approach phase, which is that point right there. So, you said you're gonna build a computer. Uh, do you have Microsoft Flight Simulator? Ah, okay, so you do. Uh, to the new people, just go ahead and make sure your quality settings for the video is set to the max. If it's not, it's gonna look very bad. Uh, I typically like to say that at the start of my videos. Go ahead and check that. Ryzen 5, 50... Okay, so you're probably going to be better than mine. Uh, I was very kind of sort of budget uh, PC. Well, it was, it was, it's actually a pretty good PC. I haven't had any sort of problems. My videos are insane. Uh, I don't see anything insane about this. You should maybe check out XP72. That's a good one. Or uh, Aviation Pro Channel. This one's. This is actually one of my first tutorial videos. Yesterday was my first. Um, I typically just fly around or talk to people who shared cockpit. Ah, oh, thank you. That's nice. Oh, nothing? Oh, 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 but, uh, oh, I, I did, I don't script my videos. Um, yeah. It's great so far. Oh, 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 I want, let's see this, can we get this? Uh, no, oh. That was interesting. Uh, not sure if you saw it. You can go ahead and rewind that. Play that slow speed, but uh, the graphics in the cloud was interesting. Huh. Yeah, I wish I could change the different pages. Like one have the perf here, and one or one have the flight plan here, and one over here. Um, have the perf. But can't do that. Fifty-three miles away. We're still ascending. Yeah, it was weird. Look at the cloud textures. Maybe it has something to do with my graphics. I mean, I've never seen this, and I always have the same graphics. So, let's see. Clouds. Huh. Mm, let's see. Can we do medium? High end? Let's do high end and see what happens. If something happens to the stream, that's probably because I just changed my graphic settings. Uh, oh yeah, that looks a little bit better. Um, I'm getting some kind of blur when I do move my camera. I thought I turned blur off. Let's check. Blur. Oops. Motion blur. No, I don't want motion blur. There we go. I don't know why people would fly with that. Motion blur is bad. There we go. Things are back to normal. Still descending. Still on flight plan. I'm gonna go ahead and out to 40. So we're... Oh, sorry, not 40. 20. We're 20 miles away from that acceleration point. Um, yeah, that's good. Got any questions? Um, wow, this looks... Slightly. Oh, I have rudder trim. Interesting. That's very interesting. Got any questions? When we touch down, okay, so we're at the deceleration point right there, So, and the, run, the runway is 10 miles out. Um, I won't be able to see anything, that's interesting. Um, yeah, we 
do have to break through the clouds. Uh, but there is an ETA on screen, so it expects us to be on the ground in 8 minutes. That Zulu time is not correct. That's The reason is uh, we're using simulator time. Let's see if I can change that. Um, flight data. Ooh, it's using... I can't... Ah, uh, it's interesting. So, I can't do that. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, it's fine. Uh, so eight minutes. If I were to pull up live time, um, it would be the correct Zulu time because it's actually a uh, 2110 Zulu, not 1319 Zulu. Um, Transition altitude, we're at 7,000. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the QNH. Oh, I already did at 18,000. Stupid. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. It's just throttle at idle, because we are on auto brake. Ah, sorry, auto throttle. What am I saying? Everything's auto in the Airbus. Wow, so runway should be off to our right. Right about now, I guess. Let's see, can we get. Can we descend through these clouds and see? Wow, these clouds are thick. I'm, I'm going down. Let's see, can I increase the speed? Huh. I'm at max speed and I can't seem to break through these clouds. Oh, found it. Ah, uh, just when I found it. Worst timing. And uh, anti ice. Okay. Severe ice. Go ahead and start the APU. It's already put in the approach phase. So, when approach phase, it'll automatically target that green dot speed. Um, but, we're not descending as fast. 4,000 at below. I remind you of your old friend. Huh. Check QNH 1019. Okay, it's not changing. Uh, I thought I had live weather on. Yeah, I do have live weather. Severe icing. 832NX should fix that. Um, icing is not realistic. On, break through these clouds. There we go. Ah. Thought it would work. Yeah. What I'm hoping from. 832 and next uh, what they do is they first what they should do is they should uh, make the EFB of course uh, then the auto uh, well actually autopilot first then the EFB then they could fix the icing uh, and then they could um, uh, you know fix compatibility with other mods such as your controls and 787XE mod. Still descending. Uh, I, I want to stay lower than that point since um, 
Yeah, but we might be a little high. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the ILS in info. Okay, uh, flaps one. So that'll be the slats only, but the nav light will come on. So, as soon as I see that localizer diamond come in, that will be good. Oh, sorry, no, we have a long way to go. No, no, forget that, forget that. We still have a long way to go. Probably should check it. A good place to find charts is ChartFox. The A32NX server also, uh, you can type in dot chart, you, you, you can do that. Um, we have anti ice. Seatbelt signs, forgot to do that. That angle will attack, though. What is that? Five degrees about? I guess that's okay. Outs from the outside, it looks... No, oh, four degrees, okay. That's a steep...
that one. There we go, glide slope. It's, ca it's capturing the glide slope. Now we're gonna put a flex one. So you can see the nav light, uh, the logo light will come on. 2,500. 2,500. 2,500. Flaps 2. Overspeed warning. Cancel that. Now if you find you're too high and too fast, it, what you can do is throw, throw out the gear early. The gear is very effective in slowing down. Um, just try to get a visual on the runway. There we go. I see the runway. come out you'll see the deceleration will be pretty high. Here we go, here's out. No flaps is three. Still in climb. I'll we'll wait about three or four miles before flaps. Decision height 174 feet from the ground. Um, that would be uh, 370 45. feet um, of the this, this thing right here. Uh, we're low. We're, we're low. Yes. Flaps two. Uh, flaps two. Sorry. It always pulls up the landing and hit it. Oh, wind is pushing me though. Uh, you will see a landing feet per minute pop up. Yes, that is correct. Uh, oh. Slightly high. Go ahead and idle the throttle right here. 100. 38 feet per minute. Not bad. We did drift off to the right, uh, but that's okay. I wish we had replay. Go ahead and exit right here. This is a high speed exit. We'll be fine. I'm gonna pull up the VFR map. And we'll stop right at the bar. Yep, it was sort of a butter. Um, butter in the sense it was the FPM was good, but um, that drift, not that good. Uh, we'll set the nose light to taxi. Beacon, uh, do we still have a long way to cross? Yes, we do. Um, Simple signs can come off. I can come off just because, you know, I don't care about the passengers. There are no passengers. Go ahead and 
gets the parking brake and we'll continue taxi. I'm gonna go ahead and pick any gates. Turn off the flight director, ILS info, constraints, auto throttle approach, and the. Oh, we didn't choose constraints on that side. I'll turn off the lights, off the panel. It's 11.25 p.m. Good night. Okay, see ya. Uh, you must be pretty far away. Are you like Europe? I don't know. Uh, that's Europe. Oh, we can go ahead and take this gate. I like uh, this Gatwick. There is, uh, this is the scenery for Gatwick. Um, it has built-in... Um, I don't know, it directs you to the gate, sort of. So, you know, it tells you if you're too far to the right, too far to the left. Oh, sorry, we're on the wrong one. Can we make it? I don't know if we can. Worst parking ever. Still gotta go a little bit until the red is fully there. That orange is still there, come on. There we go. We can stop and see how I did. Not that great. It's fine. It's fine. So, we have landed. I hope uh, that MCV tutorial, uh, you enjoyed that, or it was helpful to you. Go ahead and uh, take out the battery, put it back in for the controller, since I don't need that anymore. Uh, uh, then, we'll do the checklist for uh, turning off the aircraft. Oh, the game is frozen. It always freezes at least one time during the stream. I've noticed that. Luckily, it's on landing. Okay, here we go. Uh, we'll pull up the checklist. So, landing. Check after landing. Parking. Okay, parking brake is set. Anti-ice is off. AP bleed is on. Engine 1 and 2 masters will come off. There we go, ground contact, load up, yep. This thing pops up, just gotta continue with the checklist. Okay, uh, parking, there we go. Uh, ground contact established, slides disarmed, exterior lights as required. Turn off the runway, turn off lights. Turn off the nose light, turn off the wing lights, turn off the strobe lights. Uh, okay, see pulse signs are already off. Fuel pumps will come off. I guess fuel pumps are off. Um, and we're both securing the aircraft, but we have to turn off the ADIRS. Oxygen supply will come off. Uh, emergency signs will come off. Uh, APU bleed will come off. APU master switch will come off. Emergency lights will uh, come off. Go ahead and uh, turn off the battery power, turn off the external power, and turn off the APU generator. And there we go, the aircraft is fully dark. Um, so, thank you again for watching, and hopefully uh, you liked that MCDU tutorial. If you do have a, another tutorial in mind, uh, go ahead and put it in the Discord, or send me a message, and I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, but thank you, and I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.